Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is kind of go through a quick little video on how to graph uh, quadratic equations in standard form. Now I go through a lot of different examples, but this video is just kind of go through the step-by-step -step process that you're going to want to follow when graphing a quadratic function or equation in standard form. Basically, the first thing we want to do is identify the axis of symmetry. So when we have a quadratic in standard form, remember it's ax squared plus bx plus c. So to identify the axis of symmetry, that's going to be our vertical line that our uh, quadratic is going to be symmetric about. That's going to be equal to x equals opposite of b divided by 2a. Now remember, that represents a, um, a vertical line. Then the next thing to do is determine the vertex of our quadratic. Now, of our parabola, which is made by the quadratic. So remember, you know, here's a just our, you know, the parent graph of the quadratic. Remember, the vertex is going to be the minimum or maximum point of your quadratic. So if it opens down, you have a maximum point. If it opens up, you have a minimum point. So to determine the vertex, um, notice that the axis of symmetry it goes through the vertex. So therefore, the, the x value of our axis of symmetry, which makes our vertical line, is going to be the x value of our vertex. So all we need to do is plug this value into our quadratic equation or function. It depends if it equals you know, f of x or equals y. Um, you're going to plug our x value in for x and then solve for f of x or y, depending what type of um, quadratic you're dealing with. And then that is going to be your coordinates for x for your vertex, or sometimes write as x comma f of x. Now the next thing we need to do is identify the opening. And we identify the opening by looking at a. If a is greater than 0, then our graph opens up. If a is less than 0, then our graph opens down. All right? And that's very important, especially when we're graphing. Um, the next thing is going to determine, your other, determine other points on the graph. Now, Notice that when we have the axis symmetry, it's very important. And you know, usually in my class, I only recommend that my students just plot an extra two more points. And all we need to do is choose points that are either to the right or to the left of our vertex. Um, and it doesn't matter which one you do, but I mean, when you do this, what you're going to do is create a table of values. And let's say you know, my vertex is you know, at 0, 0. Then I'll just choose point, two points to the left and to the right. Then I'll plug those values in for x and determine the, f, the y value or the f of x value, you know, whatever they're going to be. Um, then I go ahead and plot those two points. And then the last step is the use of axis symmetry to plot the other points. And so what we notice is you know, when we have this axis symmetry, these points are reflected over to plot your other. So you know that um, the y coordinates are going to be the same, and you can just re-represent them. So you can just reflect them over the axis symmetry. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a quadratic in standard form. Thanks.